basically from the age of five, six, you're put into a school and you work your way up in the school for years, 12 years or whatever it is. You go to college, you go to sixth form, then you go to university and you put in a room full of kids. Everyone's sleep deprived. There's people in there who are going to bully you. There's, I mean, sure, you can make friends and you can make social connections. And, you know, some of those friends I made at school, I'm still friends with today. Think of when you are born, you're like a shape, right? Like a star or a triangle or a circle or some like weird square with a triangle on the side of it, whatever it is. You can be all these different shapes and have these different attributes to yourself and different things you're interested in and skills and creativity and passion. And everyone's totally different and everyone has a totally different gift that they can give to the world. Everyone everyone's different but in school you're just forced to learn maths science english you go through it very systematically and you're, you're taught very specific things and you're told that you need to know this and you need to know that and you spend eight hours a day there or six hours whatever it is i can't even remember you spend hours a day there being forced and you know this these subjects push down your throat and you know you need to go do the homework and you test it on it see if you know how to do it but when you realize that you taught all that stuff just so that you can be made from the shape that you were, go through the school system, and everyone comes out as a nice, perfect square. If you think about that, right, like a boring square. And you come out of the school system as a square, everyone's the same, everyone has the same knowledge, and you are ready to go into work and work a nine to five job for the rest of your life. This is kind of what school is. It's like conditioning everyone who goes into it from a very young age to just come out the same, just so that you can make someone else rich. That's what it is. You come out of school and you go into a job with all the knowledge that you need just to make someone else's dreams come true. That is what you do at school. Your freedom is gone after like the age of five. This is what I was thinking about. Imagine in the hunter-gatherer times, right? What humans are kind of supposed to be like. And remember, the human brain hasn't really evolved for like 100,000 years. The human brain is basically the same. Kids would scream, they would shout, they would play, they would learn to hunt, they would follow the, the fathers of the family and, and go off and hunt and learn how to catch the wild boar. They would learn social skills in the tribe and you know, all these different things. And I know we're in modern times now and it's different. But everyone, you know, you remember in class, you always had those loud kids, the class clowns, right? I was never one of these. I was quite a quiet kid at school, right? I was super reserved. I wasn't very confident. But you had the class clowns who were very popular and you had all the popular guys who did the sports. And there was like different hierarchies in school. There was like the alpha type guys and there was the complete nerdy losers. I was more leaning towards the complete nerdy loser side. And all these different people, that's like the different shapes, right? Like I said at the beginning, that's like the stars and the triangles and the circles, all these different people, all these different shapes. And it wasn't even that long ago, I saw someone I used to go to school with. I never used to speak to him, but just looks like a normal dude now. He's working at Greg's, you know what I mean? And this guy used to be like a bit of a class clown and used to be quite popular. And now he's just working at Greg's. Now, not, that's not any offense to that guy. I'm just saying that it's just a thought that I had, like everyone goes through school as these like interesting characters and have different skills. Maybe they're not very good at maths and not very good at learning, but that doesn't matter. Maybe they could provide something else to the world. Maybe they're a brilliant speaker. Maybe they could, you know, lead that kind of thing. School is really just there to condition everyone as they go in, to just be able to run the economy, to be able to go into businesses and make the business owners rich. That's the whole point. That's why you go to school, so you can get a job. You go to university so you can get a nice, well-paid job and you know you work your whole life all through your, your teenage years and your 20s. These times when we should be, as <laughs> crazy as it sounds, just playing. We should just be playing. We should be outside in nature, playing, making social connections, learning real valuable skills. Yet we just get taught maths, science, English, economics, and we get brainwashed into going to uni so that we can work these average jobs and just make someone else rich. Why is it that at school, like I did business studies, for example, and this is something that I've always had deep down inside me. I went and learned business studies because I wanted to be rich. 
I wanted to be self-employed. I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to have a normal nine to five job. I wanted to earn money. I wanted to be the guy who had the workers working for me. So I went to business studies, but business studies doesn't teach you anything about how to set up a business. I mean, <laughs> the, the guy who taught me business studies didn't have a business, hadn't run a business. How could I possibly learn how to run a business if I'm being taught by a guy who doesn't know how to run a business? And I do think it's quite sad that it's kind of all been developed just purely to get you into a job. So you can just work your whole life until you're 65 broke. That's why we go to school. And I do think that it's, it's quite serious. It's like a really bad thing. You can go look up, um, there's a nice video that I watched on this by um, Forbes actually called The History of Education. And the education system is based off of like an industrial factory model that was invented by the Prussians in like 1820 or whatever it is. You'd have to go look at the video for the exact dates. But like in the 1800s, this, this, was, this system of school that's still in place today was designed for efficient factory operations to get people so they could go work in the factories in the industrial revolution. And that is still the same system we're using today. It's based off of getting people capable so that they can work in factories. Because think about it, before the industrial revolution, people were just farmers. People, yes, weren't very intelligent and which isn't great, you know, I'd always say to you to try and be as intelligent as possible, to upskill yourself, to get better, you can't learn this stuff in school. You're just taught how to operate in a job, you know, taking the skills that you could potentially have deep within you, you know, the creative side, or maybe something that you don't quite know you're very good at yet. And you never get taught that. You just taught the same thing. Everyone gets a blanket education. It's quite dangerous. It's quite scary almost. So what's the point of this video? I mean, this is just a general rant from me, right? But I do want to give you some value. So all I'll say is if you're at school right now, you know, if you're a sixth form or if you're in high school, I'm not saying don't take your education seriously. I'm not saying that. Study, you know, get good grades, work hard. But just keep in mind that the education you're getting now will serve you if you want to lead an average life. If you want to have an average job, if you want to go to university, get a degree and go work in a, an average job. But if you're ambitious, I mean, if you're on self-improvement, you're probably watching this video if you're on self-improvement, right? You're probably an ambitious person. You've got bigger goals than just working for someone else your whole life. School's not going to give you that. I guess the, the, the value to get out of this video, and what I'm telling you, is if you want to learn something, you want to learn how to video edit, you want to learn how to record videos, you want to learn how to set up a business, you've got to go out there and learn that yourself, right? You're not going to learn that from scrolling through Instagram. You're not going to learn that from scrolling through TikTok. You'll learn that through actively going out and searching for those things. How did I learn how to video edit? YouTube. How did I learn how to set up a YouTube channel? YouTube. How did I learn how to record videos? YouTube. How did I learn anything that I currently use to upskill myself, to feel better, to have a better life, self-improvement? YouTube, everything. I learned it all through YouTube. You might not want to learn it through YouTube. You might want to learn it through reading blogs, articles, that kind of thing. All I'm just saying in this video is, you need to go out and upskill yourself. You need to go out there and learn shit. If you're young like me, right? I'm 22. If you're like 16, you need to learn shit. So instead of playing 10 hours a day on Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever it is that you play these days, maybe just spend that time trying to upskill yourself. Learn a skill that they're not gonna teach you at school because there's things that they don't teach you at school that are actually useful, like understanding how social media marketing works understanding how sales works. These actual skills that you don't get taught in school that are actually conducive to being able to make money online, for example, or being able to talk to people, right? School doesn't want to teach you this kind of stuff because, well, why? Because if you taught everyone how to be an entrepreneur in school, then there'd be too many entrepreneurs and not enough people to work for the entrepreneurs. So you need to make a decision now. You need to, I can carry on learning stuff at school and then just doing other things like playing video games, or I could learn stuff at school and then continue outside of school in my own time, the time that I have off, you'll go and learn in that time and learn something new that school's not gonna give you. 
So quick little video today, just a little bit of a rant. Go out there, learn some skills, upskill yourself. And it really, my advice to start with self-improvement, right? You're going to learn 90% 90, 90 of the shit that you need to learn in life in terms of like, not just business, but like just how to be, how to feel good, right? It's going to be through self-improvement. So anyway, hope you got some value out of this video. Remember, prove yourself by 1% every day and you'll get there. See ya.